What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back! In today's video we are checking out the latest drug device from Doogie, the one that I have here today is called the S89 Pro. This is a mid-range drugged phone that's powered by the MediaTek Helio P90 that's paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. This device gets an end to benchmark score of just under 200,000, so you already know that you are not looking at a powerhouse by any means. Now, like most drugged phones, of course, this one is pretty big and pretty bulky. So this phone weighs 400 grams. On the front here, we have a 6.3 inches screen. The resolution for this screen is 1080p. Now, the brightness, the maximum brightness is not specified anywhere, but if I would be to guess, it's around 6-700 nits. So if you're using the phone indoors, of course, you're going to be able to see the screen really well. This is an LCD panel. And if you take the phone outdoors, you can still see it and probably a bit better than a lot of other rugged phones out there. So overall, a decent screen for a rugged device. Now, inside this phone, we also have a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. So a pretty big battery. So you're not going to have to charge this phone daily. It's going to take like two or three days by the time that battery goes to 0%. This phone also supports 65 watt fast charging and I believe that this is the first rugged phone that I got to try that supports 65 watt fast charging. So you can charge this phone from 0 to 100 in under an hour and a half. So pretty decent for a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. It also supports 15 watt wireless charging. So if you don't want to plug it in, you can just place it on a wireless charger. And of course, in the box, you're also going to get that 65 watt fast charger. Talking about the box, well, inside the box, of course, you're also going to get some user manuals. There is a screen protector for the phone as well. We also have a case and whenever you have the case on, the phone looks a bit like Batman, I'm going to say. I mean, on the back there, we have two LEDs that kind of look like eyes, if that makes um, any sense. So those LEDs on the back um, are customizable. So you can use those as um, notification lights. For example, you can have them on at all times. You can change colors and um, so on. Everything is done from an app um, on the phone. So yes, the phone does look a bit more different than other rugged phones um, out there. Talking about LEDs, so on the front here we have another LED that um, can be used as a notification light and just above those customizable LEDs um, on the back we have the flash that can also be used as a flashlight. So I'm turning it on and off um, with the side button here. So the side button here is a customizable button. You can basically have that button open any application or any action on the phone. Personally, I have it set to open that flashlight because I find that um, useful. Just above that, we have three cameras. We have the main camera, we have an ultra wide camera, and then we have an infrared night um, camera. So of course, with that night camera, you can take pictures in complete um, darkness, but of course the pictures will be black and um, white. So now I'm gonna show you a variety of pictures that I took during the day and at night with all um, those three cameras um, on the back there. Of course, you're not gonna buy a rugged phone to get the absolute best pictures out there, but I feel that if you have plenty of light, the pictures turn out decent um, enough. Now, the maximum recording resolution for this device um, is surprisingly 4K. So you can record in 4K, however, you don't get um, any type of image stabilization at that resolution. So if your hands are shaky or something like that, um, the video, of course, will be shaky. And next, I'm going to show you a quick um, video recording that I've done on this device, just so you can have an idea of the video quality that um, you're going to be able to get from it. All right, we have a quick video recording done with this new Doogie phone that I'm trying out. So the maximum recording resolution for this device is 4K. However, at this resolution, we don't seem to get any type of um, stabilization. So you're going to have to hold the phone really steady if you want um, steady footage, basically. So if you are walking like this, it's not going to look um, that steady. So try holding the phone as steady as possible. So yeah, this is how the video quality from this device would look like. Going back to our device for a bit, of course, this looks like most rugged phones out there. So we have a combination of rubber, plastic and metal. Of course, the corners here have a bit more plasticky rubber um, on them. So if you'd be to drop the phone on a corner, of course, um, nothing um, would happen to it. At the top here, we have a 3.5 mil audio jack that's covered by a rubber flap. On the left hand side, we have the slot for the SIM card. So this device can take two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time. Then we have that customizable button that I showed you earlier. At the bottom, we have the USB-C charging port. Um, and again, that's covered by a rubber flap. And on the right hand side, we have the volume buttons and the power button. The power button is also a fingerprint. 
fingerprint scanner and as a fingerprint scanner it does work um, pretty decent. I mean for a rugged phone so you just touch it and um, it unlocks so it takes maybe a second from the time um, you touch it um, for the phone to unlock so overall that fingerprint scanner works um, decent. And on the back we have the only speaker available and even though the speaker sounds good it's always pointing away from you and you can kind of cover it whenever you're holding um, the phone like this. So the rear speaker is um, about um, here. So overall it looks like most rugged phones out there except for those LEDs that we have um, on the back there. The phone runs Android 12 right out of the box and we also have a pretty light skin on top of that um, Android 12 so not a lot holding the phone back. Now of course we don't have the most powerful CPU out there but for day to day usage I feel that the phone does more than okay. So for example if you're just browsing the web, if you're just writing some text messages, if you're just um, on Facebook scrolling up and down for that the phone does okay and uh, you can even play um, some games on it. Of course you're not gonna play the most graphic intensive games out there but I think for most um, users that buy a rugged phone this will do more than okay with the performance that um, it has. The GPS unit inside it takes about 10 seconds or so to find um, your location so a bit slower than um, normal. We have an NFC chip inside the phone so you can make payments um, with the phone and we also have a variety of sensors um, in there as well. So there you have it, this is the Doogie S89 Pro. It is interesting to see that they finally have fast charging on a rugged phone. That's not typically the case with most rugged phones and most rugged phones with um, high capacity batteries take like four or five hours to fully charge. Well, that's not the case with this phone um, anymore, not to mention that you're not gonna have to charge this um, daily. So there you have it, this was a super quick look at the latest um, rug device from Doogie, the S89 Pro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.